This is a read aloud taken from Characters, Actions, and Reactions booklet. And this is our first read aloud from this booklet. Last month it was government. So we're going to focus on a couple things. Remember, always keep in mind taps anytime you do a reading. What is the tone, theme, or title? Who is this written for? Who's the audience? What's the purpose? Um, last month, a lot of it was to inform. This month, it'll probably be a lot on to entertain or maybe even to persuade. And the structure, how many sentences are, in, are there? The key focus for this next, I'd say, four, five, six, seven readings is the word theme. So theme will be talked about often. And theme is, what does this reveal? And what's the general idea or insight about human existence? So make sure not only do you know the word, but most importantly, how does it apply to each story, narrative, or writing that we read. And when you open up the booklet on characters, actions, and reactions, you can see there's all the stories right there. But let's jump in. And here's the central question, which will be discussed throughout the next several readings. How do we reveal ourselves to others? And in one of the best movies of all time, The Wizard of Oz. There's other ones over here, which is on the front cover in the book. All these fun little stories that you've been reading since you were little. Now, the first two reads from this, The Gnat and the Bull by Aesop, and The Gnat and the Lion by Aesop. There's lots of Aesop fables. So here's a book that I got for my son not too long ago. Well, actually, it was already nine years ago, right before he was born. But if you open it up... You can see that there are tons of Aesop fables. So if you really like Aesop fables, you can read all these. You can get the books on the Amazon or whatever. But notice how they go on and on and on and on and on. And a lot of them normally involves animals using personification to make them come alive and have human character traits. But there's always a moral or a lesson learned. And in this booklet, it states it directly. Maybe on a state test, on another test, you have to figure out what the lesson is learned. But for this reading, it's already given. So keep in mind, focus on the key literary term, the word theme, and the general in idea or insight about human existence. All right, let's go. And remember to annotate as you read. We'll do that later down the road. The Gnat in the Lion by Aesop. Away with you, vile insect, said a lion, angrily to a gnat that buzzed around its head. But the gnat was not in the least disturbed. Quote, Do you think, he said spitefully to the lion, that I am afraid of you because they call you king? The next instant, the gnat flew at the lion and stung him sharply on the nose. This made the lion mad with rage, and so he struck fiercely at the gnat. But the lion only succeeded in tearing himself with claws. Again and again, the gnat stung the lion. Here's the picture. The gnat is just a little bug. The lion was now roaring terribly. At last, worn out from their battle and covered with wounds that his own teeth and claws had made, the defeated lion gave up the fight. The proud gnat buzzed away to tell the whole world about his victory, but instead he flew straight into a spider's web. And there he, who had defeated the king of beasts, came to a miserable end, the prey of a little spider. So here's the lesson learned. They call it a moral. Pride goes before fall. Let's read it one more time. Pride goes before fall. So what does that mean? Okay, something that is really little and small can take on someone big, but you better watch out before you get too excited because someone smaller than you can still take you out. So the lesson learned is be humble. Move on. Of course... Come up with your own too, okay? The next one, the gnat and the bull. So remember, the gnat, little fly, little bug. Let's look at this one. Well, wow, only four short paragraphs. We need to keep all these like this. This is awesome. 
Paragraph one, a tiny gnat flew over the meadow with much buzzing for so small a creature and settled on the tip of one of the horns of a mighty bull. After the gnat had rested a short time, he made ready to fly away. But before he left, he begged the bull's pardon for having used his horn as a resting place. You must be very glad to have me go now, said the gnat. It's all the same to me, replied the bull. I did not even know you were there. Moral. We are often of greater importance in our own eyes than in the eyes of our neighbor. There you can see the bull. So again, you go back to the moral. What does that mean? Talk it out with a partner. Talk it out with your parents, your teacher. What does this really mean? Even though it's really short, Aesop fables are supposed to provide some learning lesson that we can relate to life and hopefully how we can make the world a better place. That's it for the first two read louds taken from characters, actions, and reactions. Later.